Hey everyone, my name is Baraj Gill and um, on this channel I talk about business, life, spirituality, um, so subscribe to my channel. It's just life, really, ethics. So today I haven't done a video in a long time and the reason being because um, this whole year is going to be a year for me to change things up. So um, I'm trying to get rid of routine habits and stuff like that because I feel as though sometimes habits are, they can be low vibrating. So for the month of July, I didn't really, I didn't meditate in a sense of, well, for three weeks, I didn't meditate um, in a sense where like I sit, I have my meditation spot. I didn't do all of that. Well, I did because I couldn't help myself. I missed it. But at the same time, I did meditate because when, you're, when your third eye starts to open, you're kind of in meditation and you pick up things even like if you're walking or if you're at the beach or whatever it may be. So... And it was hard for me not to sit and meditate, but meditation is a positive thing. So there were days if my body felt like meditation and my mind needed it, I just sat and meditated. So now August is here and I am back to, I realize I love meditation and I am back to my routine of meditation in the morning. It's going to be one or two meditations because the weather is still nice. I love doing my beach meditation. That's still going to happen. Um, with that said... I hadn't written any, uh, I'd ri I, had, I have been writing, I've written blogs, but I hadn't vlogged a lot in July. So I'm back. Now, um, today, finally, I want a minute and 43 seconds in, I want to talk about indifference. And I also want to talk about um, empty fights in relationships. So from a spiritual perspective, um, what I'm calling empty arguments um, is arguments that where there's no in-depth seeking of an individual whether it's you that's holding on to the empty fights or when you fight you just get nowhere or it's your partner now the reason for that is because a lot of the times we get into these roles and we fight about the same things it's like a hamster wheel and the reason is because you're not um we're not dealing with our issues trust me i did this for years so i know exactly what this looks like you haven't really gone deep and dealt with whatever issue it issues it is whether it's from childhood because your partner is just a trigger right so if you haven't done that um then these fights that you have with your partner, they become empty. And it's the same thing that happens, superficial stuff that happens over and over and over again. Now, this can this is what often leads to separation and um, leads to people splitting and just, you know, someone that you loved so dearly before, you just don't have those same emotions or care for them. You do have them deep inside, but it's rooted with anger now. And anger is actually uh, another form of love. So it's, it's the opposite of love. When you hold on to anger for someone, there's still that string of connection that's holding you to them. Therefore, in essence, it is also love. It's just, you just portray... Um, anger because you feel like it's your ego. You feel like you're really pissed off at them and this person did something to you. So now you're going to just be angry and whatever emotions or whatever experiences you have with anger or reactions, you react accordingly. But in essence, it is love. So I think uh, I think for now that's all I'm going to talk about is empty arguments. It's sometimes empty fights. Sometimes it, like if your partner just doesn't respond to your needs and the fights keep circling keep circling sometimes it's a good idea just to walk away and really assess and look as an observer I've talked about this before at the relationship and really figure out what is going on what is happening and to look at the relationship and your partner in the form of indifference where whatever your partner is saying it doesn't matter it's not good nor is it bad you want to really experience and become in attunement with your partner and figure out at a deeper seated level what is going on with them now if you want to I'm five minutes in already um, into the video but if you want to 
learn more or hear more about attunement, I'm going to link my blog right below. It's it's from my website called Risky Business by Balraj Gill. So I'll link it for you. Have a read of what I say about attunement. Um, and I'm going to be back shortly because I'm doing another video. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.